Hey homeschool friends. So I am popping on here really quick. I actually wasn't intending on filming this video, but I thought I would share because right now I am about to, they're there, about to adjust my kids binders. So we use the five star flex binders for my planner, which I have a video about, but also I've been using it for my kids binders for this first like five weeks we've already finished five weeks of school and this system has been awesome i have really enjoyed it it has been really a game changer honestly in regards to paper clutter we don't have any paper clutter but also my kids really like how independent it makes them feel because they're able to find their assignments and for me it all stays in these binders until i switch it out which is what i'm doing today which is why i was like maybe i should just film this because I am doing a planning day today, which I do want to share the whole day with you because I have a lot of things that are involved in a planning day, but I'm not gonna do that today. In today's video, it's just gonna be my kids daily work binders. So if you're interested in this, stay tuned and I will explain all the details. So hi, my name is Angie. Welcome to the channel if you are new here or welcome back if you have been coming for a while. So like I said, today's video is all about my kids' binders. They're kind of daily work binders. So if you are intrigued by how this works in our family, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to. But let me just hop in. So like I said, I am doing a planning day and going forward, my plan for these days are that my kids will be at my in-laws and I will be able to just reset for the next five to six weeks, whatever it ends up being. My in-laws are out of town right now, so that's not really how it's working. So I'm kind of doing this a little ad hoc, if you will. I just kind of toss the camera up here and I'm chatting to you guys, and then I'm gonna flip it around and show you what I'm doing. I am taking out all the work that we have done so far since we started, which was mid-July till now, and I'm replacing it with the work that we're gonna be doing for this upcoming month. And so I'm running it from August 22nd to September 22nd, actually, and so it ends up being about four weeks, a little bit more than four weeks. And so I'm gonna show you one, how I have it set up. That's the first thing I'm gonna show you before I take any papers out. And what I love about this is I'm able to take the papers out and then I can pick from that stack which ones I'm gonna save for my portfolio, which I made a portfolio video this summer sometime. I'll link it up above if you're interested in how we do that, what I collect, what I save. But I like that it's all contained in these binders right now and I'm gonna take it out, I'm gonna pick what I need, and I'm gonna recycle everything else. So it's almost like I'm staying more organized this year than I have in the past. So that's amazing. I'm really proud of myself for that. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do. Let's just do that. Let's flip this around and I'm going to show you how it's organized as well as take stuff out for record keeping. Okay guys, like I said, here are my kids binders, their student binders, and really I like to call it their daily work binder because this is really what houses all of their worksheets. Really anything they need for the week and a lot of times they can find it themselves. So let me just take you through my son's binder because my daughter's is set up very similarly. And you can see here I have set it up with these dividers, these labeled dividers, and really this is labeled per subject. I thought about setting it up maybe like per day and things like that, but I couldn't do that for a couple of reasons like for instance our handwriting i only want them to do one side not two and the same with like a lot of maybe the abeka stuff or at least for my daughter she'll do one side one day the other side the next day so i really couldn't set up like a monday through friday but actually that doesn't really make sense anyway for how i want to set it up because i am setting it up in four to six week chunks if you will it's really hard to say exactly how much time i'm going to put in there but my plan is to put in more rather than less, so we'll always have enough until I get to my next planning day. So for instance, here I have like math. And you can see I put in all the sheets I needed for the first six weeks. And then I actually came up with a way to handle the finished work, because initially I was thinking, well, I'll just take it out, unclip the binder, and put them in these folders, which is why I picked the folder dividers. But that was just silly, because I'd be clipping and unclipping, and I'd have the same paper management problem. So I started folding them. I used to do this in college with my planner and that would help me like flip right away to the next assignment. I mean you could use a binder clip as well but it's just kind of easy because like he just did this assignment yesterday so I would just fold it and put it up like this and then he would be ready for the next day and so he could just flip right to it so he's not even having to look at page numbers or anything like that. It makes it super simple and then I have ordered 
the subjects based on their schedule, which I just came out with a schedule video, so I'll link that above for you guys if you haven't seen it. So it's based on their schedule, so after they do math, they typically do their independent work. And in that schedule video, you will see that at least for my son, he does different things on different days, like he does handwriting, logic, vocab, reading comprehension. So all of these are kind of in this independent subject tab and he is getting used to the schedule. I haven't really officially put a schedule in the front of their binder. I thought about doing that, but we all work very close together. So it's not like this is something I just hand to my children. I don't do that. Like I work with them, I do their math, and then I say, it looks like you have a fact sheet and a regular sheet to do today. And so then I'll like tell them that, and then I'll be like, and today's a handwriting day and a logic day. So you have four sheets. And so then he knows what's expected of him and he can go to his binder and find it. So then you can see that was his independent work there. And then the next, which lost its tab, is Abeka. And so this is his phonics and language program. So all the worksheets for Abeka are in here. And then at the end, we also do Sunlight Language Arts, which has fewer sheets because it's not as worksheet heavy. And I will talk more about this in my update video. I have an August update video, which will be coming out maybe in a week and a half or something like that. And I'll talk more about how I'm liking the sunlight because it's something that we have gotten back into, but we're using it a bit more correctly or thoroughly. And so I really like that. So that is a look into how the binders are set up at this point in time. Okay, guys, I am back. And now I have taken you through the binders. They're all empty. They're sitting on the table over there. Now I'm going to start filling them. So you can see I have my magazine holders where I keep my kids' curriculum, the kind of curriculum that has workbooks and where you can tear the pages out. And they each have a magazine holder. And it works really well because I'm able to store it up on my shelf there, which I can't remember if this video is going out before or after my homeschool room tour, but that's coming if it's not up yet. And I store those up there. So it's really nice because I can pull it all out. And now let's go through the process of filling back up these binders and I'm gonna record the whole thing and then just speed it up really quickly. But I'm gonna set a timer because I want to let you guys know and I also wanna know how long this actually takes me because guys, I am planning and setting up for the month, which I think this is gonna go so fast and it's saving me so much time already. So I'm really happy with so many things I have set up this year. It really has been a more simple approach to homeschool, which was part of my like homeschool goals for the year. I can't remember what I called that video, but simplicity so far, so good. Okay, so this will be all I need for record keeping. I'm gonna go through these and I'm probably gonna save maybe first week and fifth week samples, so not too much. It's about once a month, including kind of the first week, which I think is important to have that reference when I start comparing it to the end of the year. So now I am all cleaned out, Oops, that one, all cleaned out, and now I'm gonna start loading it. So this does not take very much time at all, you guys. go a little faster because she has just a little bit less on the like independent work and things like that but it's set up pretty much exactly the same way
that is the end of me filling back up my kids daily work binders and so let me flip the camera back around and i'll end the video and tell you a few more things okay guys so we're done they're all filled up they are ready for this upcoming month and that's it that's all i have and as for how much time that took me about 35 minutes i am so excited it really does make things a lot easier so that is what i have for this video it was kind of impromptu sharing how i do things sort of video so if you like that give it a thumbs up and i'll be sure to include my schedule video up here so you can see how our lessons are laid out because it did make a difference when i was setting up these binders but that's all i have that's all i have for this video i hope it was helpful i hope it was useful to kind of see my process but otherwise you guys have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next homeschool video all right take care